Hey family, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be learning how to cut a flounce. You can use your flounce to make different types of accessories and designs on your outfits that you make for yourself or your clients. So just in case you'd be interested in knowing all about this particular type of cut, make sure you watch this video to the end, subscribe, share with your friends and all that good stuff. All right, guys, before we get into the tutorial proper, please, if you've made it up to this point in this video and you're yet to subscribe to my channel, please be sure to hit the subscribe button. My name is Fumi B and I make videos like this and other types of fun videos on here on my channel. So just in case you're not one of us yet, please be sure to join the family. All right, guys, I just showed you guys everything you're going to need for the purpose of cutting this pattern. So for flounce, I usually advise people to first of all, cut the pattern on a piece of paper before they go ahead to cut it on a piece of fabric so what i'm doing here now is i joined two pieces of white papers they call them i don't know what they call them really i think a2 or a3 papers i joined them together with a piece of paper cello tape and i'm just here trying to figure out the midpoint of my paper so i'm going to take the full length of my paper and then mark the middle point for this piece of paper after joining the two pieces together i think the total was 36 inches and then i marked the middle which is 18 inches for your own piece of paper, please be sure to mark, you know, the appropriate measurements. First of all, take the width and then mark the middle point, divide your width into two. Also take the length now, divide it into two. That's exactly what I'm doing here. For my width, I think I go 15 inches for the midpoint of my um, width. So the width of the paper was 30 inches and the length was 36 inches. So I'm just using this, my ruler here to mark the middle point on the width and also turn it the other way around to mark the middle point at the length now on the length so after doing that you're going to get to the main part of this video which is the getting the circle form in order to achieve our flounce on our piece of fabric but yeah i'm here now and what i'm doing now is marking two inches all around the lines that i already drew so in the to the left to the right up down i'm going to mark two inches and then connect them together to form a circle for this part you just have to make sure that you try as much if you have your french curves that will give you the perfect circle feel free to use that but because i didn't have that i had to use my hand to kind of freestyle the curving and yeah that's exactly what i'm struggling with right here but after this point it gets kind of easy from there because now you're just connecting dots to each other so you know that thing that you did is in primary school now when they were trying to teach us how to right basically those circles we're drawing we're going to do something like that here now so i'm going to take that point there and then connect it to this other point that i marked here and now for for the width of my flounce i want it to be about two and a half inches so i'm marking three inches all around the circle and i'm going to do that until there's nowhere to mark again on your piece of paper so i'm just going to keep going round and round marking three inches all around to connect my dots to each other and for achieving your flounce that's pretty much it so with the width now i'm choosing three inches because for the purpose of this flounce i want to use it to make a headgear and i don't want the headgear to be too you know extravagant i want it to be something minimalistic and cute but for you if you are doing something else or you want something extra feel free to make your flounce wider you can make it up to five inches whatever really it all depends on your taste and you can make it smaller too if you want it to be really really small you want the circle the spiral to be really really tight you can make it smaller than three inches it all depends on you and your taste there's no hard and fast rule for this particular point so all i'm doing now is just going around marking three inches and connecting the dots together and when there's no longer space to connect you know that okay you're out of space for your flounce and it's time to basically cut your flounce on whatever piece of fabric you want to cut it on i hope you guys have been understanding me if you've made it up to this point in the video and you basically got the message i was trying to pass across in this video please be sure to hit the like button that helps youtube spread my videos to a wider audience and it just helps to basically grow my channel also if you've made it to this point and you're yet to be subscribed to this channel please be sure to hit the subscribe button and help me improve and increase the number count on my channel thank you very much all right guys so it's time for me to cut on my fabric and i have my fabric i have two pieces of fabric placed on top of each other you can decide to fold them on each other or place them on each other it all depends on you so all you're going to do now is just follow the spiral and then cut up your fabric so that's what exactly what i'm doing here and it looks really easy but trust me guys it can be very tricky so be sure that you're doing this carefully and i also advise that you pin your fabrics together make sure that your fabric are staying put on each other and not moving around because the moment they start to move around 
you know, things start to get more complicated from there. So try to pin. I already have my fabrics pinned. I didn't show that part where I was pinning my fabrics together. So pin your fabric together and then try to cut as carefully and as patiently as possible. All right, guys, that's pretty much it. All I'm going to be doing now is just cutting my fabric. Again, if you've made it up to this point and you're yet to hit the like button, please help me out by hitting the like button. Also, subscribing, sharing with your friends as well. If you have friends that are probably new to sewing and they need help, with different techniques in sewing please be sure to share my channel with them i have a lot of tutorials and educative stuff like this on here on my channel all right guys it started getting complicated at this point here and i was freaking out badly anyway i was able to figure it out and then kind of disconnect the other piece so after cutting around the fabric i decided to lose the weight basically lose that part that was kind of weighing me down and complicating the cut for me and then i decided to move my camera backwards a little because my camera too was getting in my way so that's what this whole movement is all about and once that was done i was back on track again with my cut and yeah it's time for me to continue my cut and that's why i was emphasizing that with cutting your flounce you have to be extremely careful if it's something really wide if you have a very large you know piece of flowers that you're trying to cut i advise you do it on the ground move your stuff to the floor and then basically get down there and do your cut if you have a very wide cutting table you can use your cutting table but i usually advise people to cut on the ground so that they have room to move around turn around and all of that so that's pretty much it really for this video i'm going to go ahead now to turn this into a beautiful headgear that headgear that you saw at the beginning of the video was made out of this flounce and that tutorial is going to come up right after this video all right guys that's pretty much it this is my flounce here that i'm going to convert into a beautiful headgear if you made it up to this point and you're still yet to hit the subscribe button please help me out by hitting the subscribe button join my beautiful youtube family here we are on the way to 3,000 subscribers and i would really really love your help in achieving that milestone on here on my channel right after this video i'm going to upload a tutorial on how you can make this beautiful headgear for yourself or your loved one or your client so be sure to look out for that thank you guys so much again for watching i love and appreciate every single one of you and i can't wait to see you guys in my next one Mwah.